Many people are asking us what it means to be immune compromised. Our immune systems are quite powerful. They defend against foreign invasion, bacteria, viruses, importantly. And of course, we all want our immune systems to be robust and ready to go. Cancer patients do have some element of immune compromise. That could be because we've given you some drugs, some chemotherapy, for example, which has lowered some of your white blood count. That impairs their function, that makes them less able, makes you less able to defend yourself against an, any kind of infection. Patients who've had previous treatments um, still may have some element of immune compromise, although that's been very difficult to document. But we do consider most cancer patients as having some element of immune compromise. So far, the evidence says that if you are immune compromised, you're not necessarily more likely to get an infection, although we are learning as we go. But what we do know is that if you are immune compromised, that infection has a higher probability of causing trouble. And so we want to be particularly careful with our patients who are immune compromised and reduce the chances that they will get exposed to the COVID-19 virus.